So, uh, this was promised video on Instagram, but I was talking a little bit about the fact that I am friends with most of my exes, or at least were to the point where I could call them up if I ever needed anything and say, hey, uh, I need you to support me, or I need this from you, or um, what do you think about this? And that's like a really fun place to be. It's a really important uh, stage in my life because that hasn't always been the case. And so I told you guys I would record a video kind of telling you kind of some tips on how I am friends with people I've dated in the past. Uh, first and foremost, I will say this. I don't think you can be friends with all of your exes. And this is not a blanket statement rule across the board. I think there are people in our lives that can be damaging to us. I think there are people in our lives that were toxic. And I'm not advocating for you to be friends with those people. The exes I'm talking about are really the ones who, whether that be the circumstances in life or where that person's maturity was at or your age or even just like your personal connection, something just wasn't jiving and it was no fault of either person. So that's what I want to just clarify is these tips aren't to help you get back together with a toxic ex or, or to help you be friends with someone that really hurt you. These are purely tips for people that really respected the relationship they were in, but they don't know how to navigate kind of transforming a loving relationship into a friendship. The first tip I would say is that you might need a little space, a little break between when you break up and when you want to become friends. And I think when you're breaking up, you can also talk about this stuff. You can say like, I want to eventually be friends with you. And it kind of states an intention and you can move forward um, eventually in that way. I definitely think there's nothing wrong with saying you want to be friends. There's been people that, uh, you know, have said that to me and I'm like, I'm not interested in that. But there also have been a lot of other people where I've come back to the idea after a while. So people might need a little space between when you break up and when you become friends. But I think that can happen slowly but surely if you follow rule number two. And I think uh, parameter number two is that you do not engage in romantic activity when you hang out. That means no sex, no random hookups, no booty calls, no hand holding, no super lovey dovey talk, all of that stuff kind of has to be cut out if you want to be friends. And I know that's hard because you're so used to being that way with someone, but if you really want to maintain a friendship, you have to create those kind of boundaries. The third thing I would say that's important to foster a relationship with an ex is making sure that both parties and whoever their significant others are currently, if they have one or if you have one, are very clear about the intentions of the relationship. Because friendship with an ex never works if one person wants to get back together. Um, both people really have to be in agreement that you are truly pursuing a friendship. And I'm sorry, the light is totally changing in my apartment, but I'm too lazy to get the lights out and I have cardboard boxes in the background. This is a real life video. Um, but yeah, I think both parties just have to be in agreement and you really have to be on the same page and the significant others of both parties also have to be understanding and on the same page. So number four, if you potentially do have a new relationship, I would tell that person very, very soon that you do have relationships with people you've dated before. It's a good, first of all, it's a good kind of barometer for how that person is if they're like super possessive jealous you know whatever i i always tell people like right off the bat look i'm friends with a lot of people i've dated it's never been a problem there's no boundaries that cross but this is a thing in my life and so um i think just being upfront with a current significant other or future significant other is important and then you also have to respect that, let's say your ex gets, you know, in another relationship. You have to respect the fact that that person that they're dating now may not love the fact that you're in their life. And I think this is a hard thing to admit, but you have to be prepared that 
your relationship might have to change over time depending on the circumstances and I know that's a hard thing to kind of swallow but I think it's part of maturity different relationships need different things at different times and just understanding that I think will be really really helpful the last thing I would say about um, being friends with an ex or pursuing friendships with an ex is understand why you're pursuing the friendship like are you pursuing a friendship because you don't believe that you truly want to move on? Well, that's not a good reason to pursue a friendship with an ex. But if, but if truly you feel that deep down this person was such a vital connection and part of your life and you love them as a human being and you value um, your relationship with them on a human level, then that is a great jumping off point to becoming friends. I think sometimes our motivations get muddled when wanting to be friends with an ex or hating an ex. You know, a lot of people hate their exes, but really they just hate their exes because everyone says you should hate their exes. Um, when in reality, it's all based on the experience that you two had within a relationship. And so for me, I have to make sure that number one, um, I have no ulterior motives. Not that I, I you don't want to have to feel like you want to control them, like you always want to be looking into their life to make sure you know what's going on with them, that you want to subtly always have some foot in the door. You have to let that all go and you have to purely get to the maturity level of saying, you are a person in my life that I deeply care about and I would rather have you as a friend and only a friend than not having you in my life at all. I think the reason I'm able to be friends with a lot of my exes is that we ended things before it got personal and really nasty. We ended things because something in the dynamic wasn't working or in our more often in the scenarios that be, you know, whether that's timing or logistics or busyness or whatever. But I think when you cut things off, before it gets really nasty, you have a much better potential of being friends afterwards. So for all of you who were like, what, I could never be friends with my exes, you're probably letting your relationships expire to the point that you can't fucking stand each other, which um, I don't usually let things get that far. And so that might be something you wanna think about just going forward. Um, but also, I mean, do what you wanna do. But I have found that what's helped me personally is to just kind of call it as you see it, as soon as you see it, because it's better for everyone. And um, I think it both, it really releases both of you um, into the world in a better place. And so, you know, you have less baggage, less heartache, and the possibility of friendship. Thanks for watching. If you got this far, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below with any of your relationship questions or I am starting my brand new podcast soon called Press Send. I'm so excited. We started recording already and we're taking all of your questions on PressSendPodcast.com. You can enter your uh, need of advice questions there and we're answering them on the podcast. And it is just so fun to hear from all of you. So don't forget to subscribe. Again, we want you in the family um, and we'll see you on the next one.